<laughs> All right, let's bring in Michelle Malkin, author of Open Borders, Inc., who's funding America's destruction. Michelle, always a pleasure to see you. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. All right. Uh, so uh, Montgomery County, Maryland, uh, we've talked about that. You used to live uh, not far from there when you were in the Washington, D.C. area. Uh, apparently, uh, you know, when you it's become now a sanctuary county for the most part. And eight illegals have been arrested in the county on sexual assault charges since it was determined that they would be a sanctuary. Does this surprise you? It doesn't surprise me, and Montgomery County has been operating as the most extreme sanctuary space in America for a long time now. And what happened in July uh, was that an executive order was adopted that not only, I mean, it's, it essentially codified this wall of obstruction that's been built between local and state authorities and the federal immigration officials. They are barred from going inside the Montgomery County Jail to interview criminal aliens suspects. There is now a 48-hour heads-up notice that the county will give to illegal aliens in their custody to let them know that ICE is looking for them. And basically, it's another run notice. This is the catch-and-release problem that has been endemic in America, at least that we've identified since the September 11th terrorist attacks. And then, of course, there's the demonizing of ICE agents that goes on now every day publicly by the Montgomery County Executive and the County Council. And people there have had enough. So I guess I've, I've found a new calling as a community organizer for America because the rally that uh, I helped organize on Friday was the second uh, in, the, in the course of, of my book tour. And I'm, sa I'm going to be uh, targeting sanctuary cities across America, going back to Colorado on Friday to do the same thing uh, because on Saturday, uh, many of these social justice warriors that are subsidized by George Soros are going to be targeting the ICE facility there. Mm -hmm. This is endangering America. That's what people need to understand. These criminal aliens are committing crimes that are 100% preventable. And people like the Montgomery County elites are allowing it to happen and endangering everybody in their communities. So, Michelle, a lot of people watching, they like to argue this way. They say, well, people get uh, every day on an everyday basis. There's people committing crimes that are here legally. Why are you just focusing on illegals? You use the word prevent it because it doesn't, it's unnecessary. The crimes they perpetrate, the damage that they do, the killings that they, uh, they do, they pull off, are all unnecessary. It's just because we're not enforcing the laws on the books. Marla Wolf knows that feeling. She's an angel mom, and she's still going after these policies like you were. Yeah, that's right. In, In fact, fact let, let's, let, let's listen to yes. it. Yes. It adds to, the, to our grief. It is so completely devastating that the laws in this county are protecting criminals. And my husband came here from Venezuela when he was eight, um, joined the FBI when he was 25. So here we have a legal immigrant that is working to protect America, and he is killed by an illegal. So our laws need to change immediately. Our, our law enforcement needs to work together with ICE. If ICE wants a particular individual, it is because they are a criminal that, that needs to be deported. Michelle? It is time to hashtag stand with ICE, and Marla put it so well. She was at the rally with another angel mom, uh, Arlene Cohen, who, who lost her son and who uh, also worked in, in law enforcement or the military. Uh, so this is a danger not only to law-abiding citizens, but others in the so-called migrant community who are being victimized. And there are no voices for those people. I shouted at Mark Elrich, who showed up on the other side with Antifa and with these radical open borders, sovereignty erasers. He didn't come over to the other side. He represents everybody in Montgomery. County. He's supposed to, right. um, but they have chosen sides and they have chosen a side against America. Yeah. My book, in part, is dedicated to angel families like Marla's, like Arlene's, like Ronil Singh's, who's been completely forgotten by all of those California Democrats. And you never hear this on the part of the open borders media, and you certainly didn't hear any perspective on the behalf of people who have been victimized by illegal mm -hmm. alien right. crime at that mess of a Democrat debate this mm -hmm. week. Yeah, Michelle, the Border Patrol over the weekend said that they've arrested 4,000 plus criminal aliens that had prior criminal convictions just this year and those are the ones that they are arresting not the ones that are crossing over and being harbored by these sanctuary cities we appreciate your work on this issue and uh, it is time to make america safe again and president trump cannot do it alone
Thank you, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Talk to you soon. Your book right. is Open Borders, Inc., Who is Funding America's Destruction. Right. All right. The president is doing it alone. All executive orders. Can't yeah. get Congress to do anything. Carly, you have to act alone right now. And